everybody, hi, hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly, you know, you know who I am. Anyway, I don't want to tell you guys that. This is just a podcast, I'm going to throw out some uh, topics for you guys. Any topic, it doesn't matter what the topic is. I'm going to be talking about e-waste. Now, a lot of you people are street, uh, they call it street scrapping. Yes, that's the terminology they use. Street scrapping. Um, people get things from the curb when, you know, homeowners put stuff to the curb. Uh, it's either garbage trucks or the e-waste people. Uh, it's like a good, it's like, as I would say, easy pickets. It's like, uh, it's like if you're going for dinner, you say, dinner time kind of thing. Yeah, it's sort of like that in a way, but it's e-waste. Um, it's called uh, street, uh, street scrapping. And, uh, they can get whatever they can to, uh, or the stuff that goes to the curb will go to the scrap, uh, to the, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, it goes to the landfills. That's, that's true enough. Uh, that means, that means, uh, with the e-waste people, they go around with their, whatever vehicle they go around with, uh, and pick up, uh, street scrap and make it into new, or, you know, the case may be. Cause uh, in electronic stuff, it's always being recycled, as they say, it's being recycled. Every second, not everything's going to this, uh, to the, uh, to, uh you know, landfills. Uh, we would like to not have it to go to landfills. But, uh, with, uh, computers, anything that had to do with e-waste goes to the, uh, street scrappers. And this guy on YouTube, he's, uh, he's a street scrapper, I say, street scrapper by trait. Let's put it that way. Uh, by trait. They call it trait. It's a trait, okay? We're, uh, we're gonna call it out, as they always say. Uh, by trait. And, uh, it's a hobby, and I say to people it's a hobby. Whatever hobby that you want to get into in your life, make sure it's really, uh, not really fun, but exciting to do, and, uh, keeps you busy, keeps you, uh, motivated. I, w I always tell people, and every walks of life, uh, be motivated. Be motivated. Not sit around, be an old guy, or moping and groping. Just go out there and do what you have to do to, uh, get your, uh, get your pay to, uh, whatever, whatever, uh, you know, feel, uh, whatever makes you happy. As I always say to my friend, he's not alive anymore, but I said to him, I said, whatever makes you happy, whatever girlfriend you want to go with, that will make you happy and maybe rich your life. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, as people, uh, as I would say, maybe girlfriend come for benefits. <laughs> this is kind of like a, we have this conversation called, uh, women with benefits. Yeah, there's benefits to it, folks. Uh, you have your companionship to your significant other, but since the pandemic, not always the case, but before the pandemic, that was the case. Uh, you have your loved one with you and, uh, she'll help you out, you know? You don't always have to do it with, uh, the things you're doing in the world today. So, as I say to people, always have that soulmate with you. Someone you really appreciate, someone you want to be with for long periods of time, not short periods of time. Uh, someone you really appreciate in your, in your little world that you would uh, appreciate as as you're growing up with her. And uh, maybe in the near future you might want to marry her. And it's just, it's just a, a conversation piece to soul. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, if she likes you and you like her, it's all, all matters, right? <laughs> as they would say. But I'm not here to tell you about relationships. I'm here to tell you about e-waste. E-waste, e-scrappers, uh, street scrappers, as this guy would say. Um, I'll put the name of him under my subtitle. I got it on his video here, and um, like I said, these people are, uh, I begin to wonder what these people do, and I'm, it's not a negative thing, like I, I always say things in a, not a negative way, um, sometimes all things are good, all things what they do in the world is, they do for the good of the world, it's mainly what they'll say, they do good for the world, not for the bad, <laughs> you know, they kind of tribute to the world, you know, so it doesn't, look dirty or dingy or the area. They try to clean up every bit they can. Uh, if it's to recycling, garbage, you name it. Uh, they want to keep the world clean as possible. As clean as possible, they would say. Uh, you know, e-waste is kind of like uh, electronic stuff. E-waste is just like electronic So If you have electronic stuff that you want to throw to the curve, e-scrap e e -scrap waste will be appreciated for you they'll take it away for you with no as they say with no money involved uh, and that will be good for uh, e-waste people and uh, it's the electronic stuff they want and cords too I can't forget cords 
uh, of some any court, any type. Uh, sometimes uh, it depends on the person. They would say depends on the person. Uh, and uh, usually, usually they'll put it right straight to the curve, and it's uh, here for the here for the taking. It's like uh, it's like having uh, it's like having dinner. It's here, here it comes. You know that you know that old mother in the forties would uh, ring the ring the old bell and say, "Hey, here, dinner is ready." <laughs> it's sort of like it's like it's sort of like eat waste at the curb. Come and get it. This is all for taking. When it's once it goes to the curb, anybody can have it. It's, it's what you call free pickets. Uh, it's like uh, there's no charge to you, no charge to the homeowner. Uh, take, it'll take it away, and yeah. So I want to talk about this guy. He's, he's a YouTuber user. I like to call them YouTube users, and they do have names tied to their YouTube channels. And not to be, a, it's not to be negative about it. It's just to do with positive stuff. They're doing positive stuff to the world. Whatever. Whatever fills, uh, whatever fills their life. Whatever fills their life. In their little world. Uh, you know, whatever makes them happy, whatever fills their uh, day to next week to the next week. Yeah, whatever uh, feels good, you know? I always tell my friend, hey, go with the best girlfriend you really appreciate and what makes you really happy in your world. Uh, he was, uh, my friend was very conflicted on two girlfriends. These were just young, beautiful women that he was conflicted about. The word I would use, conflicted. Uh, he didn't know which one he wanted to be with, and he was very conflicted. I keep, that's the word I would use. Uh, He's conflicted. The word means that he's confused on what girlfriend to go with. And, uh, <laughs> like I said, he was my best friend at the time, and he was very conflicted. And I helped him out just a little bit, just a little bit. I hope I contribute to the, uh, his, uh, his, uh, you know, what type of girlfriend to go with. And yeah, this will be, this will be his, uh, his love of his life. Let's put it that way. His love of his life. His dream girlfriend. Um, and yeah, it's it's great. It's great. It's your soulmate, uh, someone you appreciate. Uh, you want to be in your life. You always have a. You want to have a girlfriend that you want to appreciate with, uh, not one who doesn't appreciate you. Uh, who you know smiles at you, helps you out a little bit here and there. Uh, you know, in life, and uh, yeah, it, it makes life a little easier, as I would say sometimes. You know, a girlfriend. Uh, uh, she's kind of. Uh, she appreciates what you do, and uh, and uh, yeah. So you get, it's a lot in life, folks. So I'm here to say to street strappers, do what you have to do. Get your uh, gold, your kappa, as um, uh, Australian people would like to say. Kappa. Yeah, kappa. It's Australian accent. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, how do you say it, uh, um, good English. Here in Canada, we like to say it in a good English way. Um, but that's how they pronounce it, kappa. It's, it's, it's kind of like a Australian accent in the, in the language. So there you go, folks. You learn new language every single day. I mean, you learn something new every day, as, I, as people would say sometimes. Uh, but yeah, you can, it's, it's a new language. You can always learn it. Uh, if you don't know how, just ask them to translate it for you. You know? And uh, sometimes you can always get a translator if you don't know what they mean, what they mean. And... Uh, you know, it's for your liking or something. Uh, just ask them to uh, translate it to English. Or the originally uh, English, everybody tries to say around the world. But originally it's a second language. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. Like, Justin Trudeau, you may have heard about him. Uh, he has two languages he says it in Parliament sometimes. He likes to say that he says it in English and then French. He says it in a French way. Uh, so, all you French people out there should know what the French language is. Yeah. Uh, and the French people like to say it in a Frenchy kind of way. <laughs> like they mean something to them. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good language. It's good language, no question about it. But I'm not here to say any language. I'm here to say e-waste. That's e-waste. I'll put the guy's name under my doobly-doo. I say what one person YouTuber would say. And uh, I give us some, uh, uh, some name recognition. This is a uh, YouTuber's user's name. And... Uh, this is for uh, for the good uh, good of the, of the human race, and they do good for the human race for 
when I watch these videos, I always think that these people are doing for the good of the world, not bad of the world. Uh, creating the havoc to uh, blowing up stuff to you name it. As long as they're doing something good for the world, I'm happy for them. I really am. Uh, you know, not creating any havoc out there. Um, just something that's really, really uh, feel, uh, how do you say, uh, that's really make you happy. Not make you sad or cry or, you know. And so there you go, folks. There you go. What you hear in the background is a YouTube user, uh, user in the background. Okay, I'll, I'll put his name on the doobly doo down at the subtitles, and uh, I'll give him name recognition if you want me to do that. So I give this guy name recognition on my videos. So and uh, yeah, so street scrappers give me thumbs up, thumbs up. And one other thing, one other thing, I do want to iterate that, uh, go out there and do something that will make you happy, that will make you, well, not really make you happy, but uh, at least have some, um, and whatever lifestyle you get into, make sure it's uh, fulfilling. They call the word, the word that we use, fulfilling. Yeah. Well, so anyway, uh, I always like to talk about the afterlife. The past 10 or years or so, I always like to talk about the afterlife. A reason B, as they would say, reason B, because a lot of people do pass away to the pandemic. Um, so as they may see, 5,000 people, that's 5,000 people in the United States died to this pandemic, this COVID-19. Now, uh, if you know me, I like to hear, I like to see stats. I like to see stats. <laughs> Where does this big number come from? Is it from, you know, from old folks or from uh, younger people? We don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a five thousand. Uh, it's five five thousand. Was it uh, five thousand people who died to this pandemic? Sad as they may seem, they did. And uh, we always say rest in peace to them, and may you, uh, may God uh, bless you in the afterlife. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So there you go. I, I, it's this pandemic's been crazy. I mean, we're gonna pull through this like nine eleven did. We're gonna pull uh, like this. It's just, it's just uh, makes everything really hard for us because they do a lot of shutdown in the cities, which I'm not complaining. Um, it just makes life a little harder. I can't do, get my hair cut. I can't do this, can't do that. It's, it, it makes the city not run smoothly. It's like um, you got to have the city run smoothly. It's like, um, yeah, it's uh, making their money, making their, you know, daily, uh, daily uh, services. And there you go, folks. So I'm going to get off this, uh, this, oh, it's not really a rant, but it's a, it's a statement. It's very much a statement. And uh, what it's worth is they say what it's worth. I'm going to make a statement. So this is, I'll mention the YouTuber's username on my subtitle. And uh, he's going to get name recognition from my videos and from everybody who wants to see my videos can learn about their videos. And, uh, and uh, it works both ways. And, um, so my recommendation, and there's recommendation videos on YouTube, as a lot of people would see in their YouTube uh, sections. Uh, recommendation videos. You don't have to see them, but you can look at them. And they do have thumbnail videos, and they have little thumbnail videos that it's like, um, and they're quite, they're quite amazing. They do have very colorful videos up there. I got a bit very colorful videos. And uh, let me let me just say goodbye to you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next podcast. Until then. Ciao for now. And don't forget to hit that like button, share the videos, and yeah, share the videos, hit that like button, as YouTubers once said. Um, and yeah, uh, and if you want to comment at the end of my video, you can. I'm going to let you do it.